Hi guys, welcome to About You Beauty. My name is Brenda and I'm going to show you this procedure that I'm doing today. This is my Peerless 18 in the color British Milk Tea by Beltress. I purchased her from a wig sister and so it's been worn by her and it's now been worn by me. It's another one of my favorites. And, but you can see you guys, this one, take her off of here, needs a little bit of TLC. Can you see how crunchy she looks? And if I hold her, she doesn't really have a lot of movement to her. She's just kind of stiff. So that's when you know you need to work on your heat friendly units. And what I like to use on heat friendly units to maintain them is water bottle. This is just a mister, a wide tooth comb, a small tooth comb, and I will either use my Lange Le Duo or my Lange Hot Brush or this hot comb, depending on what I'm working on and what I feel like using that day. So um, I started on this already. I've done this much. You guys can already see. Can you see the difference of that compared to this? Like it's just bleh. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So I just like to split this into sections and pin that up or clip that up. Okay, and then what I like to do is take my wide tooth comb. Actually, first I like to spray it with my mister. Just lightly spray, it doesn't have to be soaking wet. My wide tooth comb and just gently comb through that. I like to start down predominantly at the ends because if you start up here and you get the knots, you're gonna pull those fibers and do more damage. So I like to just work at the bottom, work my way up slowly. And just keep going. Okay, and then once I have it like that, where I can run the comb through the white, oh, down one, the white tooth comb, this is where you're gonna find these. Just from the average wear, you guys, Okay, just go slow. Okay, we've got it. Now what I wanna do is I want to part this into a smaller section. And then I'm going to take the small tooth comb and just make sure I can run that comb through there. And then I take my hot comb and I follow that right along with the comb and just Go, and then I like to concentrate on the ends. And if you're not running this hot tooth comb or hot comb um, too long, it will not, it won't damage the curls or the wave. It'll take it a little bit up down, but um, your fibers are at least going to feel soft. You can always try and recurl those back in. Okay, let's make sure this goes through and we have a snag here at the end because these fibers at the end definitely need that TLC. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to spray that the end there just with a little bit of water because I find that with my hot, to my hot tooth comb, my hot comb work really well to mend those ends and just kind of go slow at the ends. And I like to repeat. Go slow at the ends. There you go. Okay, so I'm just going to keep continuing and I will come back when I'm done and you guys can see the finished results. Thank you. Okay, you guys want to see the finished results? This is what she's like now as she was so crunchy. But look at those ends. So much nicer. There's way more movement in here. And you guys remember, she's not brand new. She's been worn and loved. And it just, just shows you that, you know, you put a little bit of time and effort into these and they are wearable for longer, much longer. Okay, this one is one of my favorites. Again, this is Peerless 18 in the color British Milk Tea. All right, isn't she pretty? Bye guys, thanks for being here. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day.